What's up kind people of YouTube my name is Ahmed and welcome back to yet another video today i want to talk to you about Lincoln Lawyer as of recording the first half of second season has come out the file 3 episodes are going to come out soon and when they do i'll make a complete review of the show and i'll tell you what my thoughts are on that as well right now i just want to give you a brief idea of why i feel Lincoln Lawyer should be watched especially season 2 you will not regret watching the Lincoln Lawyer that's how how good it is and it seems to be only getting better with every season i think that's a very rare thing because every time you go into a second season of a tv show there's like a 4 out of 5 chance that a tv show does not follow up the success of the first season in the case of lincoln lawyer for some reason the second season somehow feels so much better there are a couple of reasons why i think that happens one we already know the characters and we know the characters are going to be good second how the characters are portrayed in season 1 the consequences of that reflects in season 2 so we pick up the story for mickey hollow right from the end of season 1 where he's gotten really famous because of the case that he fought in season 1 now if you haven't seen season 1 i do highly recommend that you go watch season 1 now one of the biggest things that make season 2 so much better is how they continue the story from where they left off at the end of season 1 they pick up exactly there for each of the characters mickey has gotten a lot of fame he's got a lot of newspapers talking to him doing his interviews a lot of news articles about him and a lot of news channels interested about him which means he's getting a lot more attention he's getting a lot more clients because of it and that leads him down a very scary path which a lot of characters do point out they like be careful of the path that you're going down mickey hollow as a character like i mentioned in my season 1 review as well is a character that you will either love or you will hate there is no in between for him as a character i personally think he is a very likable character what makes him likable is the fact that he does not let his own morals come in the way of the job that he is doing whether he likes his client or not he is doing a very good job in defending them now one of the things that i've always emphasized on is the kind of style that the narrative picks up for the show to work or not in the case of Lincoln Lawyer one of the biggest advantages that they have is the flexibility of doing different styles of editing and figuring out that this one works and what they've done with season 2 is they've narrowed down the kind of editing styles they, that they want to use and they use that very creatively throughout the season at least the one that has come out so far the style of storytelling and editing actually allows the characters to become what they are you look at Cisco you look at Lorna you look at Mickey Holler you look at Mickey Hollow's first wife all of these characters become more important to the show as they are allowed to be fleshed out a little more there's a lot of room for growth for each of the characters it allows the stories to be moved forward it allows the story to keep progressing and that is something that makes the show so much better like there is not one single moment in the show where the story is not progressing at all times the story is progressing into the next episode over the last 3 4 years what we've seen is a rise of movie s style of storytelling in tv dramas now what i mean by that is you have a more single camera setup you have more of longer shots as late as 2016 TV shows were set in a kind of pattern where they'll have multiple camera setups and they'll have sets and they'll do the shows in that particular way but the rise of Netflix and the growth of Netflix has done two things for the television industry that I think are good and one that is terrible one it's made the TV shows that much better it's made the narrative structures better it's allowed the stories to develop on their own it has also allowed a lot of TV shows shows to be seen in one go allowing the characters to be to be developed more like a movie than every episode like so you know exactly how many people are actually going to watch the tv show or not i mean look at stranger things it's like the moment they knew a lot of people are going to watch it they knew they ordered the next season at the same time it does also mean that it has made a lot of things worse like currently there's a writers protest there's an actors protest that's happening in hollywood because the writers were not getting paid properly the actors were not getting paid it's going to be a crime not to talk about the performances of course mickey holler 
and the actor who's playing Mickey Hollow does a wonderful job and becoming the character that he is the actor actually elevates the character to the next level you have Cisco's character that's quite mysterious you realize that he talks a little more in season 2 than he did in season 1 you have Lona who's always been the backbone for Mickey in season 2 we've been introduced to a new character Elizabeth who is sort of a nemesis for Mickey Hollow he's never won against her so this season makes it that much much more suspense for me because if Mickey hasn't won a case against somebody and he's taken up a case that kind of is difficult to solve it builds a lot more suspense as a, as a story and that is very smartly done overall I would highly recommend that you guys go watch the TV show at least whatever is out right now I'm going to do a full review on uh, Lincoln Lawyer soon as soon as second season the uh, rest of it comes out I'll do a review on it and this is just my thoughts on it right now I might not even put it up if I do put it up peace that's been my time and see you in the next one